Hi everyone. <clears throat> I hope everyone's doing good out there. Um, I just wanted to do a quick video of the Lord of the Rings Faramir by Asmus. Um, I have not, actually I haven't looked in a couple days, but I haven't seen any any reviews on this guy on YouTube, so I thought I'd just throw one up there for anyone who's getting them, so that you can have a look. Um, sorry about my phone, it just refuses to focus. Um, here's the box that you get. Um, here's the box art. I got mine directly from Asmus. So it says, um, Asmus Online exclusive. Um, the only difference with this, I think, here's just a look at it. I'll try to back up some. The only difference with this version is um, that you get the the bow. I think the the one that you get from Sideshow or anywhere else where you order it, it doesn't come with with the bow. But um, I don't think that's really that big of a deal. So have a look at them if you'll focus. Um, I'm I'm happy with the way this guy looks. Um, oh, I should also mention that this is. Um, out of 1500 and this time they actually did number it so I got number 71 out of 1500 so instead of everybody getting 101 they actually numbered it this time but um so yeah um, I'm, I'm happy with the way that this guy looks once you get them all set up but man was that ever frustrating trying to set this guy up um dang. I don't even know where to start I'm just exhausted from doing it it took me probably took me an hour. Um, the the quiver? I don't know. I don't. First I want to say the instructions they give you are about as good as instructions that software developers write for their software. Um, this is it and it's really hard to see the pictures and the instructions are vague. You know I had I wanted to display them with this coat and I had the first I put the coat on and then I put you know this belt on and then I figured no that's not right so I had to take the belt off and put it under anyways that that's mild compared to um, trying to deal with this thing I don't know what's going on um, but I swear to god that it's glued on wrong like I, I actually ripped it off back here, like back there, that strap, I actually ripped it off and re-glued it in a different angle, like the opposite way than what it was. Um, and I'm not quite sure that I've got it on correctly, like I've got one part over the cape, one part under that goes into a hole in the back, like um, it goes through this hole in the back. Um, I read I read some other people complaining about this on the forum, and I think a lot of people just ended up using their sideshow quiver. I, I do have the sideshow Faramir, um, but because I'm, I wanted to do just a quick review, I wanted to use all the asthma stuff. Um, but anyways, I managed to get it eventually, and of course um, I took the head off, and I know better than to, to do that if I don't have to. but. To put to put the cloak on, and getting the head back on is just a nightmare. Like I don't know why it's so hard. I had I had a problem with another figure too of theirs that I had to take the head off and try to put it back on. I can't remember which one, but anyway, it's on again. Um, once once you get this guy set up, like I think he looks really good. I, I heard some people think that the likeness doesn't look very good. Um, one guy on the forum went so far as to uh, take his hair off and, and shove some pieces of wood down. I think he shoved them in the sides there and there. And you know, it, it looks good. What he did actually, <laughs> actually looks really good. But um, yeah, but I'm happy enough with this. Um, there are complaints that, that the beard is too light. And yeah, probably it could be darker. Um, but I do think that he looks better than my Sideshow one. I think he looks a lot better. Um, you know, Sideshow, the Sideshow one is very old, so I'm not knocking it at all. Um, it's just, 
um, what six figures have come a long way since then. So he is beautiful. I do have to complain though about no ankle articulation. Um, there's just no excuse for it. I do believe though that going forward they're they're gonna correct this. Um, I think I read that they they wanted the the boots, the laces to look uniform or something just to to flow. Um, and pretty much everyone's saying, no, we'd rather have articulation. So Asmus is really good about listening to to what people want. They're really good about it. So I think going forward, they'll, um, they'll probably give us an ankle articulation. So anyway, I am very happy with this figure. But it was, so, it was just so frustrating trying to set it up. And, you know, with the head issue and then with the quiver and then this little loop right there that holds this on broke off and vanished on the floor for for a good 40 minutes before I found it and um, I rubbed some of the paint off here trying to put his hand on this is wood I'm pretty sure this is wood by the way it's not plastic um, but rub some of the paint off trying to get his hand around there because it's really hard to do um, but saying all that I think he's beautiful um, I love his clothing. This went through a lot of abuse with me, these little buttons. Um, I was trying to be careful of them, um, but they didn't fall off. And, you know, aside from that one loop coming apart, uh, nothing else really, nothing broke. Like, none of these clips came off or anything anywhere. Um, so I think they use better glue than hot toys. Um, so I'll just, uh, I'll give them a spin around. Like, I don't want to dish Asmus because I'm so happy that they're doing the Lord of the Rings stuff. And they're going deep into the line. Like, they've done a, a lot of figures. Um, but this one was just really frustrating to deal with. Uh, it wasn't easy at all. I hope that you guys out there have an easier time than I did. Because I really didn't. But he's beautiful. He'll look really good with my Boromir. Um, so I'll put his hood down here. So that you guys can see um, the likeness a little bit better. I think it looks good with the hood up. Let me uh, try to get this get this down a little bit. Um, so there he is with the hood down. I think the likeness is pretty good. I do wish though that the beard um, was a little bit darker. The hair's, the hair's good this time. Um, you know, this area here, up top there, it looks good. Yeah, I think he's a really nice figure. Um, I think if you can get by the frustration of, of setting him up, that you'll be happy with him. But the no, the no ankle articulation is just, it's so terrible. Like, um... You know, when I first got him, when I first took him out of the box, I had no problem standing him, standing him up, like standing without the stand. But after I was uh, mangling him, trying to get his head back on and whatnot, um, I just I couldn't get him to stand again without the stand. And if I had articulation in the ankles, that wouldn't be a problem. But um, anyways, I think I've said enough. Um, I hope you guys have had a good look at him. I'll do one more spin around. They did give me a freebie with this. Um, this came in a little baggy. It's a somebody's one six scale uniform. I don't know who. If that would focus, you could see the symbol. But it won't focus because my phone hates me, I swear to God. Anyways, um, it's some one six scale outfit. I'll take freebies. It has nothing to do with Faramir, but I think somebody else got that in a pin or something too. I read on the forums, but... So I'll give him a little spin around. Um... There's no focus on. Oh yeah, somebody saw on forums they got two of the same one of his gauntlets. I don't know if I said that already or not, but I think mine are different. Um, which I'm sure Asmus will sort them out. There's the back. I don't know if he was ever dressed like this in the film, I doubt it. Like, um, I think you're supposed to put either the cape or the coat. But I would put both just 
because I like the way it looks. So anyway, 